Hey everyone, welcome to our channel where we are discussing the Terraform in details. In our previous videos, we have discussed what is Terraform variables, what are the different data types we can define with the variables. In today's video, we will discuss how do you set the Terraform variables while running your Terraform command lines so that you do not have to define those variable values as in default values which we have seen so far. So what is a approach which we can do or in fact I should say there are multiple approach but in this video we are going to discuss one of the approach to set or define your Terraform variables. As always I am going to use the Visual Studio code for the demonstration and the source code will be available to you in the GitHub repository in case you wish to refer to that particular repository. So let's go to the Visual Studio code and continue our demonstration from there. So for this demonstration I am going to use this folder which is 03 terraform tfvars. So as I said we know now that we can define the variables in terraform like this like you define the variables you define the type a description and default values but what if I do not want to define a default value for my variables I would like my terraform configuration to read the value of the variables at the runtime then what options I do have? So the answer to the question is basically you have multiple options and the one of the uh, easiest way to set the value of the Terraform variables is using the terraform.tfvar files. So with Terraform we have a, a special type of reserve file in the, your Terraform configuration. The file name is called the terraform.tfvar files which is created here as you can see. So this particular file offers you to set the value of any variables which you have defined in your Terraform configuration. For example, I have defined these variables, environment name, resource group, location, allowed location and map. This all seems to be the variables related to all my resource, uh, Azure resources. So at the moment, you can see that environment name has a default value, resource group name, location, uh, do not have any default values where the uh, allowed location has a default value which is empty and tags are also having a default value which is null right now some of the variables has default value some of them do not have so even though some of them have but those values are not going to be uh, doesn't make any sense because this they just contain a null value or empty value which I don't think a terraform configuration would make any sense to use those empty or default values null values right now to set the values in the terraform configuration you can define terraform.tf var file as I said. Now how do we define the value in your tf, terraform.tf var is just like you define the set the provide the name of your values and then equal sign and then the value of your variables. So if it is a string type you can define the value as the double quotes as in a string. Similarly I have a location which is again a string type. Now if you look at here. Uh, the good thing with the terraform.tfvar files or I should say with terraform you can provide the comments anywhere which where you like to refer. So here I can uh, providing a comments to my variable that I am setting a value of a location. Next type which I am setting as the allowed location which is a collection of a string or list of a string. So this is how you provide the value to the list of a string and the opening curly bracket and then the elements to your list uh, which is the number of location which I'll be using in the program for example. Next I'm using a tag which is a map type as per my variable definition. I'll just switch back to the map type or uh, the type of the variable you can see that it is a map type and how I'm setting up the value for this tag is equals to as it is map I need to define the key value pair as you can see here. I have two tags environment equal to dev and project name equals to uh, learn Terraform. This is the most simplest and easiest way to define the value with Terraform. Now the way I'm using the way these variables is not going to make a huge difference uh, because from the use point of view you are going to use the variables as you were using it with the default values. So just with the var keyword as you can see that in my local block I'm creating a resource as your resource block and I'm using all those variables with var.resource group name, 
where dot location where dot tags or even some of the variables i'm using as an output here, here like all location as where dot location uh, here i'm doing some interpolation for you wherein one of the environment variable i am uh, printing out the environment name and then some uh, appending some uh, other hard coded text here just for the demonstration so there is no difference point from the point of uh, uses to the variable uh, whether you use the default value or you use the terraform.tfr so uses are going to be the same as i said the file name which is terraform.tfr if you look at that the extension is tfrs and the file name is T terraform so this is the, the file name which is T terraform is going to be a reserve file so as long as you have this file and now if you run the terraform plan or terraform apply command on your terminal i'll just open the terminal on this folder by right clicking and open in integrated terminal on my visual studio code so that will open a terminal on this particular terraform configuration directory as this is a, a reserve file in terraform directory in terraform configuration so terraform automatically detects the values from this particular file so first thing when you run the terraform plan or terraform apply command terraform first of all evaluates the number of variables which you have defined in the variable.tf file or anywhere in your terraform configuration next thing it does is it checks in your uh, checks if the terraform.tfr file is available if it is then it checks the what all variables values we have provided over there so as you can see that we have provided the number of variables uh, here so it takes the values from there and whichever wherever we are using those variables like in in our case we are using it in the temp main.tf file so it sets those values which you have defined in the terraform dot uh, tfr files here is the output example we are printing out all the location as is interpolation which is combining your environment name and then some hard coded text and then we are constructing a our resource block in as in local block and then entire local block we are printing it as an output as you can see so all the values are getting greeted from the terraform.tfr file and this is one of the easiest way which you can use and define it now let's look at some of the limitations of the terraform.tfr files i can specify or set the values of these variables you cannot use any built-in functions within this particular class or you cannot have any operators or function used in this class so the entire objective of this particular file type is just to set the values For example i would like to make uh, this particular environment m as uh, this with environment name dev as capital d d e v then i have a function available built-in function available in terraform which is called the title i could have easily done that by calling the function as title here and then that will make the output as d capital or let's say if i would like to make it entire uh, uppercase so i could have used the upper function so that will make uh, this particular value as in uppercase but the limitation what we have with the terraform.tfr is you cannot use any built-in function even though if i would like to combine two variables for example if i would like to combine the va variable values like this because i know that the value of the dev which is the environment name is already been declared here let's say in this case environment name so i could instead of hard coding the tag i could have you know use this and when i will try to run the terraform plan it will throw an error it says that it it will not allow the terraform to you know use any functions or variables like this variables may not be used here in the terraform.tfr file similarly if i will use any built-in function here which i was specifying let's say upper which is one of the functions which we can use if i run again that's it so this is what the limitation we have with terraform variables you cannot use uh any mathematical operations or any functions or any kind of a calculations uh, between different variables within this particular file the only thing you can do is just the assignment of the variable now what if you have the requirement to do this kind of operation where you want to do let's say any kind of a calculations or calling a function 
then you have to use this local function so you take the variable as in what variable you have defined and then after that you can uh, have a local variable created for example here i'm just constructing the interpolation so i could have created another uh, environment with upper case env i could have called this and then here i can call the upper function so that will make the environment name upper and now i could have used this as an output variable so if you have such requirement where you would like to calculate or uh, you know perform some operations on the, your variable values then you cannot do that with the terraform variables you have to do it in the local and that is the reason you have the options to uh, now option to use the local block now if i run again as you can see that my environment is converted into a capital block whereas the interpolation where i've used the same variable uh, is just printing the small case dev right so that's it in this terraform.tfware discussion i hope you have found the useful information how to use or set the values to your variable using the terraform.tfware what are the limitations with tfware files and when and if you want to overcome with this limitation what options you have as in using the local blocks for example that's it in this video i hope you have found this useful if it is give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video